Ladies and gentlemen, this story um, was posted on Newsweek. Trump says military will be mobilized to deliver coronavirus vaccine by the end of the year. President Donald Trump is mobilizing the United States military so a vaccine for a new coronavirus can be widely distributed once it's ready for widespread use. President Trump told Fox Business's Maria Bartiromo in an interview that aired Thursday morning that his administration operating under the assumption the vaccine will be ready by the end of the year. Inoculation is the key to resuming a fully normal life, according to multiple officials. And Trump said failing to make distribution plans could cause a delay in people receiving the vaccine. It's a massive job to give this vaccine, Trump told Martiromo. Martiromo. Our military is now being mobilized so that at the end of the year, we'll be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. Phase one clinical trials are being conducted with many vaccine candidates. According to Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, phase two trials should be beginning in late spring or early summer and by late fall or early winter. Fauci expects officials to know if the three trials were successful to avoid a supply and demand problem. Fauci told senators during a hearing on Tuesday that America will start proactively producing a vaccine if the phase one trial shows it's a viable option. The White House is also working to ensure there are enough syringes to administer the vaccine. According to the president, the president told Bartir Romo, most of the population will receive the vaccine, but priority focus will be on the elderly, including those in nursing homes and senior citizens centers because of how vulnerable the demographic has proven to be during the outbreak. A Newsweek review of state demographic data showed in at least 37 states, the majority of cases involve people under 65 years old, but the majority of deaths among people who were 65 and older. 18 states reported the highest number of deaths were in the 80 years of age and older demographic. In New York, the epicenter of the outbreak, 20,013 people have died, according to the State Department of Health. About 65% of those deaths, 14,391 lives, were people who were over the age of 70. There's been very little damage done to people that are healthy and young, frankly, medium-aged people, Trump said in the Fox Business interview but the elderly have been decimated, absolutely. Closing businesses and other mitigation methods, measures, have been successful in limiting the number of debts and flattening the curve, but it's caused massive unemployment and taken a toll on the U.S. economy. Trump left the responsibility of reopening in the hands of governors, although he's a staunch advocate for states to lift measures and allow people back to go to work. People have been critical of Trump's, Trump's stance on reopening and accused him of putting the health of the economy before the health of American lives. On Tuesday, Fauci testified in a Senate hearing that if states move too quickly to ease restrictions, the consequences could be really serious. When it comes to reopening schools in the fall, Fauci encouraged officials to make the decision on a step-by-step -step basis that looks at the dynamics of the outbreak in a specific area. Young people with COVID-19 have died from a pediatric inflammatory syndrome because it is not known definitely 
how the virus will impact children. Fauci said we really better be very careful. Trump said he was surprised by Fauci's answer about states reopening up too quickly on Wednesday and called it not acceptable, especially when it comes to schools. He added that schools are going to reopen. In addressing the topic of schools during his interview with Bartiromo, Trump reiterated his stance that schools should open, but teachers who are 65 or older and have an underlying health condition that can make them vulnerable to developing serious disease or put them at a higher category risk of dying should relax for a longer period of time. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this article is from Newsweek.com and President Trump is calling up on the military to mobilize in hopes that this coronavirus vaccine will be available by the end of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a wake up call. Please continue to fast, continue to pray, change your diet. There's going to be some great, interesting times ahead. Please let me know what you think. Please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to make sure you hit that bell to get all the notifications. And I'm going to see you on the next video. Salama, salama.